wanted to do a quick disclaimer before we start this video and that is I don't do this morning routine every single day these habits that I'm gonna be showing you guys are the habits that I strive to do most of the time but let's face it not every day is as productive hence why I classify my mornings into two parts one is my high energy morning routine which is my productive morning routine which I'm gonna be showing you guys today but there's also days where I feel lazy and it's my rest day that's what I classify as a low energy morning basically what I'm saying is that don't compare my high energy morning routine from your low energy mornings because they're completely different and you're just gonna feel demotivated and feel bad about yourself and that is not my intention at all this video is here to inspire you and motivate you and give you ideas on what to put in your morning routines because when I first started this self-care journey these are the things that I wish that I included in my morning routines if you're planning on making one if you're in this self-care journey as well please subscribe so we can work together on our goals and become the best version of ourselves so without further ado let's get started on the video Been out of my head. Yeah. Good morning everyone, welcome to my productive morning routine. Today I woke up at 8.30 and I consider that pretty early. I'm actually so proud of myself these days because I've been waking up around this time because I used to struggle a lot with my sleeping patterns and I'm still in the process of trying to wake up a little bit earlier each day. But if you're like me who struggles a lot with this kind of issues, to be honest, we don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning just to feel productive it's about how you use that time wisely don't be too hard on yourself and you can always try again the next morning what I'm about to show you guys are the habits that I learned to incorporate in my mornings and I actually learned this from a book called The Miracle Morning by Hal Elward which I highly recommend for you to check out it literally changed the game for me. It made me realize how important it is to put yourself first, especially first thing in the morning. In the book, there's an acronym that's called SAVERS. I'll go through it with you guys throughout the video. I honestly look forward to doing these habits every morning and I believe doing these tiny little habits every day can make a huge impact in your life and you'll be surprised how much your life will change in the next year or two. My name is Rina and if you're new here, welcome. I make wellness, lifestyle, self-care, home decor videos. So if that's your vibe, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. Today I wanted to film a that girl productive morning routine and I know it's been like a trend lately especially on TikTok and Instagram and I've seen a lot of videos here on YouTube as well but some people have a negative opinion about it but personally I love this trend so much because it's making people strive to become the best version of themselves and whenever I watch these type of videos it really motivates me to work on my goals and to become the happiest and most successful version of me so yeah it's a great trend if you look at it in a different lens so before I go to the gym I line up all the drinks that I need to drink um, first up we have some lemon water and also I have my oxy shred and in the gym today I'm going to be doing cardio abs and shoulders so when I do cardio days I use usually don't eat before going to the gym. I haven't tried this new flavor that we got. It's called wild melon. It smells so good. And then I wanted to try this BCAA boost that my husband told me to try. 
because we went to a like a supplement shop yesterday so basically it just supports your training and gives you hydration okay let's try this oxy shred wild melon flavor mm, that tastes pretty good All done. Just gonna wear a t-shirt because I still feel shy in the gym. So the first habit I want to talk about is exercise. This is the fourth habit that Hal talked about in his book. I usually go to the gym and I spend about two hours here. You don't have to spend two hours in the gym to feel productive. Any movement will do, whether that will be a walk or a run outside, doing yoga or going to any group fitness classes. I used to do Pilates a lot and I really enjoyed that in the past so go and explore what type of exercise you'll enjoy because there are heaps out there and I'm sure you'll find something you'll love. brunch we're having some leftover coconut salmon curry and then i just added some spinach and a bit of dressing i'm having it with some white rice as well i just made some green juice from the naked harvest greens powder i can't be bothered making a smoothie today so i'm just gonna make it nice and easy so yeah let's dig in i'm so excited i had this last night and it was so good Mm. amazing after my cardio days i get really hungry so i have like a big brunch like this one mm. hello <laughs> i can probably have this dish every single day i'm not even kidding like you guys have to try this it's from chloe ting's website and her recipes are just like asian inspired but healthy The second habit I want to talk about is meditation and it falls under the category called silence. I've never really been a fan of meditation and I swear it sounded all BS to me before even trying it. But whenever I feel anxious or off, meditation is something that really helps with that. It makes me feel more calm and my mind is more clear after a meditation. Let's try it out for 5 minutes and see if it helps you. The thing with building habits is that if any of these things don't serve you or doesn't fit with your lifestyle, then you don't have to put this in your morning routine. Just because me or other influencers do it doesn't mean you have to if it doesn't resonate with you.
After my meditation, I usually write on my gratitude journal and it's called the 5 minute journal. And like what the title of the journal says, it only takes 5 minutes of your day to complete this. This also falls under the category called affirmations. So you're actually hitting two birds with one stone. It just asks you things like what are the three things you're grateful for today? And what are the three things that will make today great? And you can also list your affirmation words to inspire, motivate, and empower you today. And that's it. You don't have to spend 30 minutes doing a long journal entry. You can if you want to. I usually do that if I have the spare time. But journaling has been one of my favorite practices to gain clarity. And it just allows you to brainstorm ideas and work through your feelings if you're having a problem in any areas of your life. It's also a wonderful way to see your progress as you reread your journal entries throughout the year. For example, I journaled through my feelings and thoughts when I got married, and I may not remember those small little things that happened throughout the day if I didn't journal it, but because I journaled it through, I have a written memory of my husband and I's wedding, which is such an important day for us. So you don't have to only journal when you're feeling stressed. You can also celebrate the little wins by writing it down. The next habit I want to talk about is reading. And just like how you go to the gym for your body, we also need to train our brains and keep it knowledgeable and keep expanding our mindset. To be honest with you, I'm not really a fan of reading. It's not my form of learning. And I'd rather just watch a video because I'm such a visual person. Or I would rather listen to a podcast. But because there's so many valuable lessons that we can can learn from a quote-unquote successful people and they basically have written their success blueprint we just have to make an effort to read them and learn from their mistakes and their life lessons hey guys it's editing reina here and i forgot to film the last part of this video and i wanted to talk about the last and final portion of the savers part and it's called visualization i basically just look at my vision board and i have a vision board on my laptop right here and i can show you guys in a minute i just basically try to look at it every day to remind myself that these are the goals that i want to focus on sometimes like we make like new year's resolutions and we forget about it throughout the year if you have it with you on your desktop or your laptop or your screensaver on your phone just be like a great reminder for you and it'll just motivate you things like that so yeah i'll show you guys what my vision board looks like and it just looks like this and as you can see i put it as my screensaver on my laptop and it just says in the middle, you are the main character because that is my theme for this year. And surrounding that, I just incorporated some the images that will make me motivated to go to the gym. I actually made a video on how to make a vision board. So if you want to check that out, I will link it somewhere below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. So glad that you're here and thank you so much for your support. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!